Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of recording intercompany transactions in QuickBooks Online. Intercompany transactions are when your multiple locations and one location spends money on behalf of the other location. So to reflect correct accounting, we need to make entries in both locations, both, both QuickBooks files. So before we get into actual entries, we need to make sure that in both company files, we set up the accounts that are needed to make those entries. In our example, the company file I'm in right now, we are going to assume this is company A and the second company file is going to be company B. So company A in this example is going to spend money on behalf of company B and needs to be reimbursed. So let's see the account setup in uh, company A. So we'll go to chart of accounts, click on new, assets, other current assets, tax form section, same other current assets. Account name is going to be due to slash from company B. So whatever money is going back and forth, let's say company A sends money to company B or spends money on company B's behalf, all those transactions are going to go through this intercompany account due to slash from company B. And we are going to put a description here, intercompany transactions with company B to be recorded here. Okay, And this is how it's going to show up in your balance sheet. So we're going to save it. Now let's go through the setup of company B. What do we need to do here? Uh, we need to set up we need to set up a liability account, uh, which is due to due from company A. So let's go to chart of accounts. New. Liabilities. Other current liabilities. Other current liabilities. Account name is going to be due to slash from company A. And same thing here, transactions with company A to be recorded here. And this is how it's going to show up in your balance sheet. So save. Now let's go through the actual transactions. How do we record intercompany transactions? Okay, so let's say there was a credit card charge in company A, which was paid to BNY, and it was paid via credit card. Payment date is 1101. Payment method was credit card. Category, okay, so Company A is making a payment to BNY, but it's on behalf of company B. So it's not really an expense in company A. So all we're going to do is we are going to post it to due to from company B. It's an asset. It's a mon it's money spent on behalf of company B. That company B should be later on returning to company A. So how do we record it? Let's say $1,000 payment to BNY was made by company A on behalf of company B. We can say insurance payment made by behalf of company B. Okay. If you have any attachment you want to add, you could do that. And we say save and close. So entry on company A side is done. Now let's see how it shows up actually on the reports. So we pull a balance sheet report. for this month. Right here. In other current assets, you have $1,000 owed from company B. Now let's see how to do accounting in company B side. 
Okay, so on company B side, what we're gonna do is, we are going to make a journal entry to reflect the opposite accounting of what we did in company A. 1101. Now we need to show one more thing here. We There's no cash um, exchange at this point, but company B needs to get deduction for the expenses that company A paid for on its behalf. So let's say, okay, so we know they paid insurance expense on behalf of company B worth a thousand dollars. Insurance expense paid for by company A on behalf of company B. And the vendor name was B and Y. We're gonna add the vendor without any details, save. And we are going to say due to or from due to slash from company A. B and Y. Okay, this is the entry we're gonna do in company B because again, company B needs to get deduction for the expenses that company A paid for. And then we're gonna show a liability that company B has should have on its books for company A. So save and close. And we're gonna pull a report now, a balance sheet report to see how it reflects here. right here other current liabilities due to from company a thousand dollars now guys please pay attention every month at least on a monthly basis you should be reconciling your intercompany accounts make sure that whatever one company shows as an asset over from company uh, the second company second company shows the same amount of liability over to first company in their books too and that's it.